Here's a simple way of turning a barbecue into a gourmet experience. Let me introduce you to our flavour infused barbecues. They deliver natural clean flavours into all sorts of foods such as vegetables, fish, prawns, chicken and other poultry and all kinds of red meats. Our barbecues come in eight different varieties to suit everyone's taste or preference. You'll be amazed at how the flavours come through. We've got Thai basil, crushed garlic, Australian smoke, Spanish rosemary, hot chilli, wild pepper, rainforest lime and coconut crush. The way we pack barbecues is pretty important to their shelf life. They're in a particular sleeve, which is a barrier laminate, so it locks the flavours in. And you just tear the top off when you take the barbecues out and literally use what you need for that particular cooking session. You can leave the rest in. It's got a zip seal, makes it really easy to lock the flavours back in. And I always store these in the freezer or even the refrigerator just to make sure the flavours stay fresh every time. So this is how you use them. The thing with the barbecues is that the flavour doesn't start coming out until that hits the heat. They're flavour activated, they're flavour and heat activated. So load them up. Again, you can put vegetables, a bit of onion, a bit of capsicum in between, anything you like. And the other thing is, if you're cooking a whole steak, if you particularly want the steak in one piece, you don't have to cut it up. You can just literally keeping the skewer close and parallel to the board, there's your meat, all ready to go. And as long as you cook it all the way through on moderate heat, it works brilliantly. If you like your meat a little bit more rare, just make sure the skew is sitting a little bit closer to one edge. The heat will still activate the flavour and it'll go all the way through the steak. Another great use of the barbecue is with a simple sausage. Put it on, cook that all the way through, the kids will love them. But when you're cooking a whole leg of lamb like this, you really need to position the skew fairly close to the edge so that the heat can still activate the flavours. Okay, if you put it down here and we were to cook the meat just to pink or rare, it's not going to get the heat really working the flavours and releasing them. So we tend to recommend about a skewer per 350 grams. So there's enough there, enough flavour to go all the way through that lamb. You can still cook your meat to pink and rare as you like it and the flavour is going to be absolutely delicious. So on to chicken, three really good flavours with chicken, Australian smoke, rainforest lime, coconut crush. That's not to say any of our flavours are not good with chicken, it's all wonderful. Thigh fillets, probably the easiest to cook, a little bit of fat in them and uh, so they're going to be juicy and stay juicy when they cook. And the great thing is that the barbecues themselves don't introduce any fat, they're literally no fat, no sugar and more importantly for cooking on the barbecue, no goo, it's none of that gooey marinade that you need to introduce and this will just bring in that nice clean flavour. Remember, no calories nothing but terrific flavour. Use the whole thigh fillets or if you like use the tenderloins again just injecting the skewer, the barbecue right through it and in fact there's plenty there to even put a couple on. So a classic Australian dish, chilli prawns and what could be better? The trick here is to take the tails off the prawns because what you really want to do is go through the thickest part of the prawn then the tail, work it down, and with the length of these barbecues, you can actually go either three or four prawns deep. And how's that now we're talking? Now the great thing with the prawns is they cook so quickly that it's possible to cook them, turn them, once it's done, pull the skew out and actually reuse the skew with a whole new set of, uh, uh, of prawns as well. So you get quite a bit of flavour even there. Also, if you don't like it too hot, take the barbecue out early. If you like it a little bit more zingy, then just leave that barbecue in to cook and pump the flavour in with the heat. So fish is another easy thing to cook with barbecues. And the great thing with the barbecues is that we can also mix and match our flavours. So how about we take a coconut crush and let's try how about rainforest lime remember once we're finished with the skews we just zip it up again lock in the flavor and store them in the fridge so two flavors here the fish is fairly thin you just need to take a little bit of care 
and just work it through. It can often help hold the fish together on the barbecue as well as it cooks. So there's one and we've put in our rainforest lime there. I can smell it, it smells terrific. And then the coconut goes in alongside it. So that flavour there is going to really mingle and dissipate, go all the way through the fish. And it's only a small piece of fish. It's going to cook quite quickly. You're going to be surprised at just how well vegetables cook on barbecues as well. You can put a whole range of things. Zucchini really picks up chilli flavours. So does the capsicum and onion. You can use a garlic barbecue as well. Um, you might want to cook chat potatoes, sweet potato, pumpkin. You can even parboil them if you're in a hurry uh, so they're about three quarters done. Put the skewer on and um, there's the barbecue starting to pump flavours as you finish it off on the barbecue. So it's just a matter of threading on whatever vegetable you're using. Watch your fingers. I promise you if you skewer your finger with the chilli skewer you're going to know about it. So take a bit of care there. In fact, sometimes it's good even just to press straight down to get through the vegetable so you're saving your fingers. There it is, ready to go, onto the barbecue. Doesn't this make a barbecue special? And not only that, we've got different flavours locked into the different meats so everybody can have their favourite flavour. Really simple now to either put a bit of oil on the barbecue or in fact even just quickly oil the meats, which I quite prefer. And now it's a matter of putting the first thing, or the longest cooking meat on first. So thickest piece of meat down to the hottest part of your barbecue. And even while we wait, we can cook some of these things just as a bit of an entree, a bit of a starter. So sausage is on a stick, will cook quite quickly. As I said before, the flavour is going to come out really, really well. Sausages just pick up the flavour of bar barbecues and deliver it exactly where you want it, in the meat. So remember, low fat means of cooking, no sugar, no goo to clean up off the hot plate later, and nothing but great flavours. And if you were going to cook a piece of steak over the grill itself, just soak that end of the stick. It doesn't have to soak the whole barbecue. You just need to wet that, and then no reason why you can't cook that on the uh, open flame as well. Even if you burn a little bit of the ends, no big deal, the flavour is still going to come out through and into the meat. It's just going to be absolutely delicious. And remember, we're cooking on medium heat here. It's not crucifying the food. It's just a nice, gentle heat, controllable, getting the flavour through the meat so that it's releasing the flavour from the barbecue and just pumping it through. And there's no need to wait until the next time you crank up the barbecue because barbecues work just as well when they're pan-fried or oven-baked.